Hi guys. It has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous spring morning here on this Monday morning after the monsoon has blown through the quaint lonesome swamp this weekend. It has now turned into a gorgeous spring. What is this? It is Monday, April 12th, 2021, and I am uh, heading into my final week at Crazy Crane Campground <clears throat> uh, before heading back to New York, baby, one week from today, and uh, I'm going to be camping in the Okefenokee Swamp uh, for most of this week, so I'm not sure how many rants I'm going to get through, but uh, this one was a no-brainer uh, rant right here in today's Monday morning Yahoo News from Associated Press. I don't know if this is me reading a story from Associated Press is going to get this video and possibly my channel pulled down for uh, some crime against humanity for reading this straight ahead story from AP <coughs> titled <coughs> Discarded Masks Litter Beaches Worldwide and Threaten Sea Life. Do you think so? Hmm, what did Deb Ozarko call these uh, masks uh, in her essay last week? The cigarette butts of the 2020s. <clears throat> and we're starting right here in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. This, obviously, this Sandy Hook, New Jersey. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> from Sandy Hook, New Jersey. To the usual list of foul trash left behind or washed up on beaches around the world, add these masks and gloves used by people to avoid the corona panic and then discarded on the sand. Uh, well, my, anyway, I'm just going to read the story. Uh, <clears throat> In the past year, volunteers picking up trash on beaches from the Jersey Shore to California, the United Kingdom, and Hong Kong have been finding discarded personal protective equipment. The latest example came Wednesday when New Jersey's Clean Ocean Action Environmental Group released its annual tally of trash plucked from the state's shorelines. I'm not sure if this chopper there is a, uh, what they're doing uh, nearby is they're actually spraying pesticides, you know, as mosquito control down here uh, by aircraft. Here in 2021, right here in Florida, at least this is what my neighbors are telling me. Uh, I have a even a doomer like myself has a hard time believe believing that they are still just spraying poisons out of the back of aircraft. Uh, but nothing surprises me anymore. But I'm getting uh, off track. Let's get back to uh, mask or bad, mask or bad. All right. The latest example came Wednesday when New Jersey's Clean Ocean Action Environmental Group released its annual tally of trash plucked from the state shorelines in addition to the plastics, cigarette butts, and food wrappers that sully the sand each year. The group's volunteers removed 1,113 masks and other pieces of virus-related protective gear from New Jersey beaches last fall, uh, said Cindy Zip, the group's executive director, quote, used correctly, PPE saves lives. 
disposed of incorrectly, it kills marine life. Yes, PP litter is a gross result, a gross result of the corona panic and is 100% avoidable. Yes, use PPE properly, then dispose of it properly in a trash can so it can end up in a landfill and then wash into the ocean. <clears throat> it's not hard, and it's the least we can do for this marvel of a planet we all live on, not to mention ourselves. Close quote. Yes, well, I can think of another thing that we can do to uh, reduce the litter of masks and gloves, but if I make the, uh, make the suggestion of how we can eliminate the, uh, the discarded masks and gloves and all that other crap, I assure you this video and possibly my channel would be ripped down, so I'm going to let anybody with an IQ greater than a discarded uh, face mask come up with the one solution to the discarded face mask problem. <clears throat> Back to Associated Press. Discarded masks and gloves started showing up on beaches. <clears throat> Discarded masks and gloves started showing up on beaches not long after the virus began circulating widely last year and continued to appear as quarantine weary people sought an escape at the beach. In the second half of 2020, more than 107,000 items of PPE were collected by volunteers around the world, according to the Ocean Conservancy Group, a figure its members believe is a vast undercount of the year's true totals. This is Nicholas Malas, Senior Director of the Ocean Conservancy's Trash Free Seas program weighing in on the subject. Quote, once in the environment, disposable PPE act like any other single-use plastic, likely never breaking down, but rather breaking up into smaller and smaller pieces and persisting indefinitely. In fact, one recent study found that one single disposable mask can shed up to 173,000 microfibers, tiny plastic fibers in a single day. What this means is that the damage is cumulative adding up over time to the massive amount of plastics already entering our ocean each year. PPE has been vital, has been vital in protecting human health, but the resulting pollution has also exposed that our waste systems are not equipped to handle crises like this. Close quote. In Northern California, the Pacific Beach Coalition recently noticed a dramatic increase in discarded PPE on beaches in and around the city of Pacifica, south of San Francisco. A cleanup day, one cleanup day in San Diego netted 413 latex gloves and more than 700 single-use surgical masks. In Scotland, discarded PPE was found on nearly a quarter of the beaches cleaned last fall by the Marine Conservation Society. And masks began showing up on Hong Kong beaches in March of 2020, 
in the early days of the pandemic. Conservationists have reported seabirds becoming entangled in the ear straps of face masks, <coughs> and they worry that marine life could eat masks or gloves, <coughs> mistaking it for food, and suffer serious or fatal consequences. <coughs> Beyond the PPE, Clean Ocean Action's beach sweeps came, also came up with some unusual items, including a back scrubber, a home pregnancy test, a bong, a check for $81, a foam tombstone, a parking ticket, a New Orleans Saints flag, eight pumpkins, and a wooden pig's head. Yes, the group's Spring 2021 beach sweeps will be held April 17th at locations up and down the Jersey Shore. So uh, if you want to join the uh, mask picking from the Jersey Shore, uh, April 17th is what you can do with your life. You know, I can only imagine uh, what this looks like in Asia. Good God Almighty. I, I mean, judging by what this looks like right here where I live in the oasis of freedom, uh, here in Florida, in this one small town in Florida that probably has the highest percentage of anti-maskers of anywhere on this planet, right directly. I live in the epicenter of people not wearing masks, which is going to change uh, when I move back to Ithaca, New York, and, and, and just seeing the number <coughs> of these goddamn things in the epicenter of anti-maskers and, and, and I just wonder what the hell uh, this looks like and now uh, you know with these mask Nazis telling us to wear two masks uh, so you can double this but uh, anyway The shit is this this nightmare is never ending, and this is going. You know, this is the new normal. Uh, all of these clueless fucking panic sheeple. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I see I have a phone call from New York. And it is either uh, my buddy giving me the damage of my burst pipes in the Hambone Hilton, or it's one of these Doomer chicks. I have actually uh, had four anti-Trumper, anti-masker Doomer chicks from New York. Uh, unbelievably, that there really are anti-Trumper anti-masker doomer chicks living in the epicenter of panicked sheeple called the state of New York and uh, so maybe a ray of hope for your old lonely <coughs> doomsday your doomer lonely heart but anyway get out there and enjoy your mask cleanups on your, a beach near you while you still can. Bye, guys.